Hi, my name is Guy Tang. I'm a hairstylist here in West Hollywood, California. I'm also an educator artist for Joyco. And, you know, today I'm going to talk about color correction. And one of the most common color correction that I have been doing is like, you know, since the ombre trend is really popular right now, there's so many bad ombres out there. Sometimes the client did it themselves, or sometimes it could be from another stylist. Who knows? And so with all the do-it-yourself YouTube videos out there, everybody thinks they can do their own hair. So the good thing for us is that we know the scientific situation of it. So clients are actually messing up their own hair, so they're having to come to us and rely on us for color correction. Um, one of the things I always do is give realistic expectations. I never overpromise. That way when we get to that point, they're always happy. So, you know, the first thing I lay down is, you know, what's their budget? What can they do all in one day? Um, let them know how many hours it's going to take or it could take because color correction is very unpredictable sometimes because if they color their hair black and they're trying to go to platinum blonde, that's unrealistic. So can they do red? Can they do, you know, like a natural brown? Maybe even a caramel color, something that's realistic, I can promise them. However, going from black to platinum blonde is impossible. Um, you know, taking the integrity of the hair into uh, a priority is the most important thing. It's all, it's all about beautiful, healthy hair to make sure the color looks beautiful because if the hair looks fried by the time they get their color, the color looks bad. So my thing is all about the integrity of the hair. So I love using, you know, Joy Coke uh, K-Pack to reconstruct the hair, make sure the hair is perfect and moisturized properly because the condition of the hair comes first. Um, understanding the color wheel is very important too. Are, there, are they blonde trying to go darker because you need to fill the hair and the missing pigments, but if you're also going light, you also have to know that if they have a bunch of excess black dyes, especially if they're using henna or something that we don't know about because of all the organic things going on out there. A lot of our clients are turning to henna and all these things and we know it can react to our products that we use on them. So uh, doing a strand test is very important. And also, um, you know, updating your knowledge. Always continue going to hair shows, education, uh, continue education so that way you can understand the new technologies and uh, the products that are out there now so you can do what's best for your client's hair and also maintain the integrity. So uh, that's the most important uh, recommendation I can give.